In this video, we will configure a serial ASCII to Ethernet IP gateway. For this video, we will need the following tools. ProSoft Configuration Builder, or PCB, which is on the DVD shipped with the gateway or downloaded from our website, RS Links Classic, and RS Logic 5000 or Studio 5000. So let's get started. When you receive the module, the first thing you will do is open up ProSoft Configuration Builder. When PCB is open, select the PLX30 option in the filter window. From the drop down window, choose the PLX31 EIP ASCII 4. Your module may differ. For most applications, the default configuration will work perfectly. We just need to make a few changes on the serial port and the IP address. Double click on the Ethernet configuration and give the module a valid IP address. Yours may differ from mine. Once this is done, click OK. Now we will expand the ASCII port 1 and double click on the object. Change enabled to yes. We will be using RS-232 wiring and our transmission termination will be two characters, a carriage return and a line feed. For more information on any of these settings, refer to our user manual. Now click OK. We will be using a Class 1 connection to the Rockwell processor. With this connection, you can monitor the Ethernet IP status as if it was a connected piece of I.O. Once you click on Class 1 connection, you will notice that the input and output match the receive and transmit by default. Now we will download to the module. Right click on the module name and choose download from PC to device. Because this module has the default IP address not on our subnet, we need to launch our discovery service by clicking on browse devices. Once you find your module, right click and choose assign temporary IP address. This IP address should be within the range of the PC that you are configuring the module with. Click the OK and close the window. Now we can download to the gateway using the new IP address without having to change the IP address of our computer. Now we need to import the EDS add-on profile to RS Links Classic. Minimize the configuration builder and open RS Links Classic. Click the communications, then click RS Who. Browse to the IP address we gave to the gateway. Your gateway might have a question mark here. Right click on it and choose Upload EDS from Device. Then follow the prompts until installed. Once this is completed, close RS Links. Now let's go ahead and open up your Logix project. This will work with RS Logix 5000 version 20 and newer, and also Studio 5000. I will be working from a new project, but you can add this to your existing project. Once your project is open, we need to make sure there is an Ethernet bridge installed in the I.O. Right click on the Ethernet icon and choose New Module. Uncheck the Vendor Filter and scroll down and select ProSoft Technology. Then choose your module. Mine is an EIP ASCII 4. Then click Create. Give your module a name and the IP address we entered in the Configuration Builder. You can add more connections depending upon your module by clicking on Change under the Module Definition section. You can use more connections if you wanted more than the default 132 words or if you wanted a connection per ASCII device, but this is not required. These are the same steps you would take for a single port ASCII module as well. For this video, I will only be using one connection. Once the module is added, double click on the controller tags. Here you will see the name you gave the module as an input and as an output. First we will look at the input. Here is all the received information when a message is sent to us. And here is the data that was sent. 
Now we will look at the output. Here is how you will send an ASCII string message. Say you want to send 10 characters. Enter a value of 10 in the transmit count, and when you're ready to send, increment the transmit sequence. Here is where you enter the data that you would like to be sent out the ASCII port. If you wanted to add a second PLX31 module, you do not have to add another EDS. Just add the module on the Ethernet bridge. This concludes configuring the Ethernet IP to ASCII Gateway. For any more information on this product or any of our other products, please visit us at our website at www.prosoft-technology.com. And as always, happy training!